Okay, this is Don W6 GPS, and today we're gonna get you a startup uh, startup video on the Zum Spot kit. Now, included in the kit, you have the Zum Spot, you have a uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Zero uh, antenna, and a uh, card with an image, the uh, Pi Star image, already um, installed. So. Uh, also included is uh, standoffs and let me get this in focus this right here if you want to do just a quick install use the little standoffs and put it all together it's real easy to put together make sure the SD card is, is seated in all the way you'll also need a uh, USB to uh, or some sort of power supply that you're gonna power right here uh, the Pi Zero so and of course you'll need a PC computer to uh, do the setup so here's uh, here's what I use to kind of get things going. Uh, for just like fifteen dollars, you can get this really nice acrylic case, and that's what I recommend uh, you folks use. While it's powering up, you can see it's going to take probably about two minutes. But this little green light's kind of like a little indicator of what's going on. So we're going to give this about two minutes to boot up. We're going to give this about two minutes to boot up. And then what's going to happen is, is uh, the new Pi Star image has a Wi-Fi connection where you're actually going to connect to the Wi-Fi of the Zum Spot. And the next thing you want to have, of course, is your uh, is your Kenwood uh, THD74, and we want to have this set in the DV mode and the frequency that you're going to set your Zum Spot on. Uh, just look at the AWRL uh, plan guide for uh, low-powered uh, uh, transceivers. So for me, I've set this on 433100. So keep on hitting the uh, refresh button and look right here in your Wi-Fi connection and connect to the Pi Star. Okay. So once you um, once you connect with the um, Pi Star, you're not going to get any indications. But you're going to open up your browser window and you've got to put in here http colon forward slash forward slash pi star. When you select that, you're going to see the, uh, see the uh, no mode defined. So we're going to go to configuration. It takes a little bit to get it going here. So you're going to put pi star and the default password is RAS P B E R R Y Raspberry and you hit OK so now once it uh, once it starts up here you can see the various uh, settings here we're gonna do is very very it's gonna be very very um, basic stuff so the first thing you do put in your call sign not my call sign but put in a call sign and the frequency Remember, the frequency that we chose on our radio was 433-100. So, 433-100-00. Go down here. You can put your latitude and your longitude. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to choose a... You can do that later on. Uh, your town. Uh, put Chattanooga. Just Chattanooga country uh, USA all right now then this is gonna uh, this is gonna automatically change first time I reboot now this is real important make sure you select the right um, the right device and with the Pi star kit uh, the zoom spot kit it's gonna be Raspberry Pi hat GPIO so there's that right there uh, you can set the time zone uh, right up here it's kind of uh, you just have to look at America's uh, I'm just gonna pick one here so I'm just gonna pick uh, uh, I'll, I'll pick Detroit for right now uh, the dashboard language if you want it to sound English like an Englishman you can use English UK I'm gonna change mine to English US. Alright, 
Now then the other thing I'm going to do here, now that we're going to, we're going to be scrolling here, now we're going to go ahead and apply the changes. Uh, I would turn the time announcements off and I would also select use D plus for XRF. So with the Kenwood uh, D74 uh, software 1.08 or higher, you'll be able to get the XRFs. Go down here and change this to uh, public and apply changes. So we'll let that reboot. So now it's uh, it's uh, set itself back up, uh, rebooted itself. Um, I'm just doing D star, so whatever you don't need, there is a DMR, D star, uh, Yesu, P25, NXDN, and then uh, Yesu to DMR. I'm just concerned with D star, and so that's what I'm doing. Now, once we've get rebooted, we see that our, my calls there, all my information's there. It's still uh, wants. Let me just make sure I get that hat, Raspberry Pi hat set set this to public and change the English I got that there and we're going to go ahead and apply changes so we got to reboot this several times okay so uh, we're not connected to the internet we're still connected to the local Pi Star interface so um, you could set your default uh, your default reflector and it's right here I like 30 Charlie so you can pull down that menu and there's a whole bunch of things you could set it to so we're gonna choose uh, 30 Charlie and apply changes Okay. Again, we're not in. We're not uh, on the internet. We're just on a local Pi Star uh, Wi-Fi. So the next thing we want to do, once we kind of get it the way we want, is we want to scoot down here to uh, Wi-Fi, a uh, configure Wi-Fi, and you hit configure Wi-Fi, scan for networks. So make sure you have a network with a password. It's going to take a, f a few seconds here. All right, I've chosen. I've chosen the Wi-Fi I want to go on. Go ahead and put in the uh, go ahead and put in the password right here, and you say save and connect. Now, some people think it's going to be connecting. That's not true. So what you want to do is just make sure save and connects there. Hit it one time. Now then what you have to do is, is you have to go up here and reboot under power. Do a reboot. Don't do a shutdown. Do a reboot. What it will do is is it will reboot the system and then it will go to the internet Wi-Fi that you have set up in your home. In the meantime, while that's rebooting, you want to go over to your, uh, you want to go over here, choose the network to get back on the internet. Okay, I'm going to pause the camera here. I'm going to let it reboot. We'll be all set. So, now that I'm on my home Wi-Fi, the Pi Star is now on here because I couldn't access it if it was still on the Pi Star Wi-Fi. Go up here to configuration and there's your all your information. So you can verify and if there's any other little tweaks you can do, you can do that now. Now we are doing a full restart, powered down and completely powered up. And what should happen is, is once everything's working, you'll hear it automatically collect, connect to 30 Charlie. So we'll wait for a second or two. 
could take up to two minutes, so be patient. But I'm not going to have you sit here for two minutes. Okay, I've rebooted it. Linking to RBS zero three zero Charlie. And once you get that, then you then you know you're reaching the um, the D Star uh, network. Quick key. And now what we have to do is we have to create this uh, hotspot frequency in the DR mode. So you go to dstarinfo.com, you go to the download section, you go scroll down here, and you want to repeater list downloads for DR mode radios is what you want. You select that, put your location in here, Chattanooga, or wherever, do a lookup location. Gives you the latitude and the longitude. You can enter that back and write that down. You put it in your zone spot. Select radio. It's going to be for the America and North America market. Kenwood uh, THD74A. Down here on empty slots, you want to go ahead and put the maximum here, 50 for right now. And I'll explain that. Hit the downloads. And you want to do a save as and pick a location. And I've done this before. So I've saved it to the desktop. Go ahead and exit this. We want to open up our Kenwood MCP program. And while that's opening up, make sure you have a formatted card. And you format the card right here in the uh, Kenwood radio. So that way you can have um, a properly formatted card. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm not I'm not using wires or you know USB cables or Bluetooth to uh, to change these uh, frequencies or import these frequencies. I find it just a whole lot quicker doing it by way of computer. So we're going to set the radio aside. We're going to import uh, repeater list from file. So we go up here. That file that we downloaded it's going to be. Uh, KRNATHD74TSV, that's tab separated value. You open it up, choose the right market. Go up here and select to the uh, left, the left of the uh, number. Insert, do this a couple times. And what this does is it gives you some space so that we can add this hotspot uh, frequency. So just do that a couple times. All right. So we go back to our frequency. 433.100 is what I chose. Use the uh, tab button here. Uh, world religion. Actually what we need to do is we need to edit the area first. This is where we create that place called hotspot. So we do that, hit the tab, go over here, put ZUM, spot. You know, if you have a DVAP, you can add, add it in these, this column right here. And then uh, ZUM 440. And of course, if you have a DVAP, you can add DVAP 440. And there's a reason for all this. We'll, get, we'll, we'll show you. So world re region, it's going to be a hot spot. Uh, country is some spot. We're just kind of changing the groupings here. The group, it's a 440, so we choose 440, some. And then a call sign. And uh, don't use my call, but put your call sign in here. WS6GPS. And what I do is I, I push the space bar till it stops. Back up. I back up. So what I'll do is I do a backspace and put B. Hit the tab button. It's gonna, it's gonna be RPT2. So it's, yes. Hit the space bar till it stops. Hit the backspace, and put a G. That way, that way, right here, you've got your uh, RPT1 and your RPT2 correct. You can go over here and give it an alpha tag. 
I'm just going to call this Zum Mobile. Well, let's get that right. Zum Mobile. Okay, now then, uh, take the card, take the card out of the radio, make sure it's powered off. Take the card out. You gotta put it in a little adapter on the side of the computer. See right here, put a little card, gonna put in the little card in the adapter right there. And it boots up. You can minimize that. The next thing you want to do is export repeater list to file. So we're going to give it a name. So I put like dates. And then we're going to choose a location. We're going to go to the Kenwood folder on that card that you formatted. And you're going to go to uh, settings and repeater list. So you have a name here and you hit save. So once that's saved, you're gonna you're gonna take the little card out right here, my adapter. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, card in there, uh, we go to uh, menu, import, repeater list only, the list that we created, and it, choose the right market. Let it load. It's going to re radio is going to re reboot when you hit OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, hold the bottom button down here, and it says repeater list, hotspot, zum spot, zum 40, 440, zum mobile. Once we do that, we can go up here to a, let's just choose a different reflector, like link to reflector. We're going to go to uh, 14 Charlie. Hit link to 14 Charlie. So if we get that, that means everything's working right. So we can uh, go back up here. We've linked to reflector. Go back to the reflector menu and we're going to use reflector. It's W6GPS, anybody on 14 Charlie for a quick signal report? Zero Delta 4 Hotel Lima, Lima, you sound great. Okay, real fine. Uh, just doing a video and just wanted to get a quick demo in here. Thank you very much, W6GPS in Chattanooga. And there you go. Everything's all working. Oh my gosh, W6 GPS. Um, I just saw all these videos on the uh, YouTube about the TSG74. That's the radio that I'm, uh, that I'm on right now. And I just want to thank you for making the YouTube channels. I just want to say thank you. So, W6 GPS, KB4HL, I'm clear. Okay, real fine. W6 GPS.